Hey guys, this is your girl Phoenix. Thank you so much for stopping back to my channel. Today we're going to go over how I customized this wig for the second time so that I could reapply it. The hair was still extremely full so I had more than enough hair to pluck out as you will see. So I'm just going to start off by plucking um, some sections out just randomly parting the hair plucking a little bit on each side. The hair is wet and I found that makes it a lot easier for me to pluck. So although it kind of looks like I'm going in um, directly on both sides of that part, I'm actually just kind of taking random groupings out um, on the sides of the part. I want to kind of take away from the general density of the wig, not necessarily pluck a part out if that makes sense. It was around this point that I broke my comb, y'all. So I went in with my fingers to just try to part the hair any kind of way. It worked. It did its job. <laughs> So this is the point where I just section off some baby hairs and I'm going in with that Nairobi um, styling mousse. Now, if I want a harder curl, I have like, I got a bunch of mousses now, y'all, like, cause they all do something different. But I just really like how Nairobi gives the hair like a great amount of structure and shine, but it's not crispy. So you can comb or brush straight through the curls and waves once it dries and it just looks really natural. Now if you want to hold, then Nairobi is not the one for you y'all. Just try anything else but that if you're looking for a hold. But if you're just looking for definition, Nairobi is the one.
just doing a little bit more plucking in some areas that looked a little bit thick and now I'm just combing out all of those uh, loose hairs so that's all the hair that I wound up plucking out for this wig for today and I really could have went all in and plucked out so much more than that because the wig was just so full you guys like even now it's still super full so <laughs> yeah you can pluck so this is just me cutting some more baby hairs the lace is actually a little bit too dark for me so I went in and cut a little bit more baby hairs than I typically would use and I'm just ready to smooth those down with that coconut eco styler gel I really like that one um, it's nice it gives really good hold it doesn't get flaky at all and it's really good at holding those baby hairs especially um, you know just with before you're ready to, to brush them out so yeah they're, it's really good I would recommend it This was me trying something new. Typically, I do my baby hairs on my head, but I've seen a whole bunch of videos of people being able to, you know, style the wig on the dome cap, dome cap, on the mannequin head completely, and I kind of like that. Um, it is not easy to style baby hairs on the mannequin head because it's canvas. However, it did hold really, really well, and I got the results I wanted at the end, so it's something I'll probably do, it, do again. Right here, I'm just putting a little bit of extra oil in the nape area. Um, that seems to be the area where I do get a little bit of issues, so I just put a little extra oil back there and it takes care of it. Um, that'll keep me from, you know, getting any tangling at the nape. This is the point where my baby snuck in or at least I noticed her down there licking herself like a cat. <laughs> that is my Chihuahua Kiki. I love her. Alright guys, this is the finished look. If you leave that alone and you don't touch it, you will get a perfect wet look. And Kiki says thank you for watching. Comment and subscribe to her mother. Thanks, guys.